my god oh serious i doubt that this is a cute picture but uh you know all those years of watching booktube and seeing booktubers do this for their tbrs or their hauls or their wrap-ups this i never was envious of this part <laughs> Oi. I'm not left-handed and my left hand keeps doing the one at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm Superwoman. Ooh, I say that and then they about, they're about to fall. Okay, I'm done with myself. <laughs> It's Kalia Monique. My first name's Kalia. My middle name's Monique. It's Kalia Monique. Today I have my September, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. September TBR for you all today. And wow, do I have some things to get out the way first. For September, I will be participating in both the Monopolathon. That's not the word. That's not the word. Because, huh? Why would I pick those? <sighs> Red up. Monopolism. What is it called? Bookopathon. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> so for the month of September, I will be participating in both the Bookopathon and the Magical Readathon. It, listen, there's a lot of readathons happening in September, and honestly, it was kind of hard to decide which ones I wanted to participate in. Very excited to be participating in both of these. Like, wow, just the work that was put into both of them is just astounding to me. And so I'm so excited to be participating in them. And also, I think I have some really cool books that I can read for them. There was one book in particular that I was absolutely going to read this month. And I, listen, I did everything I could to fit it in, in whatever prompt I could. I was like, where, where can I fit this book? Hello? Huh? Yep, found it. And that book actually is the inspiration for this look here today. Do y'all remember that for my TBR videos, I am doing a special look for a special book in the TBR that I am excited to get to. Um, listen, I'm not even going to give you a hint for this one because it's very obvious. <laughs> it's all in the eye look. It, there are hints everywhere. Like, there's no I'm not gonna say hints because you probably already have guessed it I made the first guess last month too hard and then this month was just like who that is way too easy go ahead and pause the video I'll like come a little closer come a little closer baby baby anyways um yep that's my face um uh, so go ahead and pause the video right well, why am I still so close Go ahead and pause this video and comment down below what book you think this look is inspired by as a fun little game that between me and you. First and foremost, let's go ahead and talk about some books that I absolutely want to read this month. Um, first of all, there's that one book that will be read this month. It was absolutely going to be read this month. I've been planning to read this book this month since last month. So there's that. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to say what book that was because... It's on my face. I really want to read The City of Brass. The Kingdom of Copper is the buddy read pick for Mel Reed's Patreon in the month of September. But also we've kind of, I know that I'm just going to want to binge the series because at least that's what I've heard from people who have read it. And I don't like to restrain myself. So I'm going to just read City of Brass in September, even though I was supposed to read in August, I'm going to read it in September. Next book that I absolutely need to read because I was going to say I want to read, but like I need to read because I've wanted to read this for so long. This is actually one of my most anticipated releases for the year and that is Witches Steeped in Gold by CNN Smart. I'm so ready. I, I have three editions of this book or at least I will because I have this book this edition which is the one I pre-ordered the one I'm going to be annotating when I get to it I have the Alcrate edition and I just I have a lovely friend over at the Citadel that is sending me um the fairy loot edition so I I I thoroughly plan on enjoying this book and loving this book and I just the fact that I have three copies is I have a problem <laughs> but that's not 
not that's not the point of this video the next book that i absolutely will be reading this month and hopefully hopefully can fit it into a prompt is seven days in june which is the buddy read pick for jaleesa's patreon over at bounded and bookmark i do not own this book physically at the moment i do own it technically it's just on its way to me it has not been delivered yet let's go ahead and get into my roles for book off with Dawn, which I don't know how this video is being edited because I've already done the roles. So for Book Off Fun, I decided to go for the standard five roles. But then I'm not gonna lie, I found my roles quite boring or I didn't really have any like drama when it came to my roles. So I did another role and I still didn't get drama and I was not about to add anything else to my TBR. But I am very excited to be talking about the books that I will read for each role. Okay, for my very first roll, I got 10 and landed on Becca's Rex. Oh, and for this prompt, I'll be reading Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. I know very little about this book, except that the main character's brother was recently murdered and the main character is going to seek vengeance. But as he's on the elevator, it keeps stopping at every single floor and so yeah i heard that the book is in verse it is also on script so i'm going to be listening to that over on script um and yeah that i found this recommendation from becca in her audio best audio books recommendation i don't know but i'll leave that video down below because yeah i <laughs> i was looking at the rest of the books i was trying to fit in my tv and i was like i don't have any audio so definitely i'm excited to have this audio book added to my list not to mention I've been wanting to read Long Way Down for a long time now. I do not own this book physically so I will just be listening to the audiobook and I am very excited to be getting to that. So for the second roll I rolled a seven and got Last Color. I'm not gonna lie I was confused by this prompt but Last Color just simply means a book that has the color the same color within its cover as the book you read previously previously so I don't actually have a book for this prompt but this is definitely going to be a mood read or just something I fit in as I go throughout the month so for my third roll I got 10 and landed on big book which honestly I'm sure that the majority of people would be very upset with this role but I was so excited because absolutely here's one of your hints because the most the mystery book that is on my TBR, actually it does fall under a big book. For the fourth row, I got a three and landed on randomize your TBR. It was very humbling for me to count out how many books of mine I have not yet read. I don't wanna talk about it, okay? I don't wanna talk about it. I landed on a 29 and counted on my cart and I actually am very excited and surprised about this book. Um, I think I was very scared at first when I saw it because I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm in the mood for that. And then I picked it up and it was like, this is stunning. I'm absolutely in the mood for this. And that is Pants Labyrinth by Guillermo del Toro and Cornelia Funk, Funk I believe. Yeah, it is the, hold on, Oscar winning writer, director Guillermo del Toro and New York Times bestselling author Cornelia Funk has have i'm sorry i feel like i'm saying her name wrong my bad have transformed del toro's hit movie pan's labyrinth into an epic and dark fantasy novel complete with haunting illustrations and enchanting stories that flesh out the folklore of this fascinating world i i am so excited to be getting to this first of all so floppy second of all just stunning just stunning this one is less than 300 pages i believe yes and it the font is big there's pictures and illustrations like this should be a really good book to tackle for this readathon because listen i got some chunky books okay for my fifth roll i got an 11 and landed on hyped for this roll i chose a diary of blood by st gibson i am so excited this is a lyrical and dreamy reimagining of dracula's brides a Diary of Blood is a story of desire, obsession, and emancipation. I'm so excited. First of all, I have literally not heard a single negative thing about this book. Like, genuinely. <laughs> genuinely have not heard a single negative thing about this book. Like I said, I rolled my fifth roll and was like, oh, 
I didn't get a chance card. I didn't get a community shelf. I didn't even get a double. Like I just got regular rolls. And I think I might be the first person in history that was upset by that. So I did give myself a sixth roll. And for that roll, I got an eight and landed on current news and current slash event, which isn't this great. Look at Becca, look at Bookoplathon trying to help me reach my goals in life and read more nonfiction because you could read a book or you could read a fiction book centering about a current event such as like racism, homophobia, so and so, you know, the world's a mess. Or you could read a nonfiction book. And so I will be continuing with my goal of reading one nonfiction book a month. And I will be reading It's Not About the Breakup, but edited by Miriam Khan. And I'm so excited to get to this one. Listen, I'm gonna just read the final part for you. It says, what does it mean exactly to be a Muslim woman in the West today? According to the media, it's all about the breakup. Here's what it's really about. Yes, tell me what it's about. I'm ready. I'm ready for women to take control of their narrative. And so yeah, that is everything for Bogopathon. Now I can get into my magical readathon and the TBR for that. So I have not yet created my character, although I do kind of have an idea of who my character is going to be but no fret because I do not have to worry about that until the months after September so yeah I'm gonna chill out on my character building although I have I kind of have an idea of who she will be and I'm very excited about that you guys will just have to stay tuned for future videos that take place after September but but for the month of September I want to go all in in this traveler's guide like I want to get all the prompts and if not all the prompts then definitely most of them in order to successfully pass the novice um path you just need to read two books that fit within one of the five prompts i'm trying to get all five because i'm so excited for this so the very first prompt that is under the traveler's key is the novice path entrance and that is read a book with a map for this prompt i will be reading city of brass i'm ready that's all i gotta say I, I don't fit <laughs> I don't fit something I was already going to read into a prompt. This has a map. If you don't believe me, rude. What did I do for you not to trust me? Here, next for the Ashtorn Tree is to read a book that keeps tempting you. And that book is the book that this makeup look is inspired by. That is the mystery book that inspired this look. So I cannot tell you guys what... <laughs> book I chose for that prompt although you, we're, we're almost there we're almost done with my TBR for the mist of solitude prompt which is read a standalone I will be reading seven days in June which again is the buddy read pick for Jaleesa's Patreon over at Bounded and Bookmarked next for the prompt under ruin and sky which is read a book featuring a ghost haunted house or other supernatural elements I have the Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. Very excited to be getting to this one. It is also a short book because like I said, I got some chunkers. I got some chunky books in this TBR and I need some that are just a little bit smaller. Although this book is smaller, its contents probably are more difficult to read. So I'm still very much challenging myself with this prompt. But um, The Taking of Jake Livingston follows Jake, who is a medium, and one day he starts to be haunted by a ghost of a young man who orchestrated a shooting and killed himself at the end of that. So definitely, if you want to read this book, definitely check out the trigger warnings. It is definitely a dense book. It definitely could be difficult for people who might have experience or you know I have a lot of friends and family members who are teachers and I can imagine this book will be very hard for me to read. Also I remember being a student afraid of having a school shooting and so yeah I definitely am going to if I read this book I'm going to need to make sure that my mental health is secure but if I do not get to that one I am pretty sure <laughs> that Pan's Labyrinth absolutely fits within that prompt. Next up for the Obsidian Falls prompt, which is to read a thriller or a mystery book. I chose The Secret of Whitestone Gate. This is the second book that follows the mystery of Black Hollow Lane. So yeah, this is a middle grade mystery book. Um, I want to tell you what it's about because it is the second book in 
I believe a duology. I don't know if the series is going to continue, but I am very much excited. The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane was so cute. It gave me all the Nancy Drew vibes I didn't know I was missing. And so I'm very excited to be getting into The Secret of Whitestone Gate. Yeah. <laughs> Next for the prompt under Tower of Rumination, which is read a five-star prediction. Best believe, baby, which is steeped in gold. I have three copies of this book, or at least I will once the Fairly Edition reaches me. All right, excuse the lighting change. I, I can't control the sun. I can't control the clouds. Um, But like I was saying, which is Stephen Gold, I have three copies of this book. So if that doesn't tell you that I expect to absolutely adore this book, I don't know what will. Yeah, next for the prompt under the Aurelium Academy Arch, the prompt being a book with a school setting, I have... And I'm very excited to get to this one. Legend Born by Tracy Dion. I have been meaning to read this book for a very long time. Um, also, I don't think this one came out this year. I don't believe it did. But it's one of the books that I just, like, I saw it and I was like, I love it. I want it. I want to read this so badly. Not to mention, one of my friends has recently finished this book and she absolutely adored it. And so, yep. I definitely want to read Legendborn. If I do not end up being able to get to Legendborn, then I'm going to count The Secret of Whitestone Gate as my book that takes place in a school setting and just find another book that fits within the mystery or thriller genre because I definitely have more books on my TBR that could fit under that than I do books that can fit within the school setting prompt. So I do want to make sure that I am being aware of that. Not to mention, when it comes to getting my character card, I'm going to need to have a dark academia. So I might want to save that book for then as well. We'll, we'll see how the month goes and what ends up happening. And yeah, is that all? That's all, y'all. Okay, so let's see. Oh, no, it's not all rude honestly i'm rude so the next book on my tbr <laughs> that you have actually received three hints for as i've gone along with this video and those three hints for the book that inspired this look are that there are hints beyond my face within this room right now <laughs> secondly it fits within a big book prompt for bookopolathon it is over 500 pages and it fits under my Ash Torn Tree book, a book that keeps tempting you on your TBR prompt. And that book is none other than Dune by Frank Herbert. Yep, it is was sitting in your face the whole time. I will I hope, I genuinely hope that someone guessed this. I don't need you all to have guessed this right, but I hope that someone did because it was literally glaring you all in the face. <laughs> yeah, I thought about taking it down and then I was like, well, then that will be obvious because it's been in every video this whole time. So taking it down, that makes it even more obvious what it is. And so, yeah, I don't know if keeping it up there made it easier for you all or maybe had you second guessing yourself, but yeah, I am very, I am absolutely going to get to Dune this month. It is actually my priority for the month because the movie for Dune comes out in October and I want to read this before that. But yeah, that is officially everything on my TBR. Let's get everything stacked and ready to go because I am ready to go personally. <laughs> Perfect. I'm y'all. I don't want to hold this. I literally added one more book and realized I don't actually want to pick this up. But yeah, I have eleven books on my TBR for this month and a lot of pages to get to. So we'll see what happens. So listen, at the very least, even if I do not read every book on my TBR, I absolutely will be accomplishing the readathons. Like I know for a fact that I'm going to succeed in. Becca's Bookopolathon. I know that I can, I know I can read two books. Okay. I know I can read two books in a month. So I definitely will be succeeding in the novice path, but yep. Let's go ahead. Here, hold on. Can you see them? Are they in the, literally, seriously guys, tell me, are they in the frame? 
because they're heavy. So yeah, those are all the books that I will be reading this month, along with the two that have not yet made it to me. The Long Way Down, which is the audiobook, and which book is coming to me? Seven Days in June. All right, y'all, that is everything for today. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed my face, my voice, my extraness, go ahead and press that like button down below and press the subscribe button and the bell notification if you would like to be notified when I upload. Are you participating in the book off -thon and the Magical Readathon? I would love to know what you'll be reading in the month of September. It, it is going to be an exciting reading month for all of us. I know it. I can feel it. It's about to be a good one. As always, I will have my socials down below if you would like to stay connected with me because I absolutely would love to stay connected with you. And of course, if you would like to support this channel further, I will have my Amazon wish list and my coffee down below as well. Now, I believe that is everything, although I am probably forgetting something because I literally always forget something, not to mention I feel like I'm forgetting something this time, so that's not a good sign. But that was so sad. Bye guys!